Good to see you again. Uh Um, Today, I've got Emma Griffin. And Emma, who is this? That is my child. (laughs) Also known as Pocket. Yeah. So we've got a whole audience today for this video. Um, I have never seen this video, which is kind of surprising to me because I really like the band. Um, But... (laughs) <laughs> the the video we're gonna watch today is called Another World uh, by the band Gojira. Uh, Griffin, what does Gojira mean? Gojira. For those of you that don't know, Gojira is a, a French metal band um, that uh, awesome took their name for the French version of Godzilla. So we're gonna check that out. I've never seen it. I have absolutely no idea uh, how this is gonna go, but we're just gonna find out. So, here we go. I know we're only like 40 seconds into it, but what's what's going on? Not a fan? I don't like the, the the art? No, I don't like that. I like the other art, but not human art. The human art. What is that? Human. You know, that's not a human. It's a that's a person? Like yeah. Weird. Is it the style? Yes. So this is very similar to what I saw um, with, at least in in part, not the same, but similar to what I saw in the artwork for um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It's a little like that, where yeah. this is all, it seems like it's all computer generated um, and, and done on computer as opposed to, to drawn out and stuff. So I don't know. So what do you think the song's about so far? Rocket ship and another world. All right, Going let's see what see what happens. Yeah. Hey, how to build your own rocket? How did you type that fast? So you see what they're doing? I'm pretty sure I know what they're, they're doing. What's, what's going on? Everything. They're what? They're killing Who is? Everything. Okay. In the rocket um, building ship. So thing. what's the purpose of building the rocket? Hey. What's up? To go to another world. Take. To go to another world. Abduct animals. Have more population on Earth. So the whole purpose is to have more people on Earth? And different animals. And different animals on Earth. Okay. That's definitely a possibility. Emma, New you... pandemic on Earth. Yeah. R.I.P. Ancient Forests. Let's see what happens next. What? I knew it. (laughs) He's like, there's less than 1% chance of success. Yeah, that'll work. We we can go with that. We'll go with that. (laughs) That is wormhole. Ah, classic wormhole description. Oh, my paper. Bending space time. That was the last piece of paper in Gerald! That was my <laughs> last piece of 
Alemania. They're trying to do what? They're trying to escape from Earth because there's a virus. Okay. Maybe caused by elephants and the ancient forest. That's what I got out of that. I thought they were... Uh, oh, and of course you got to take your guitar. Like, you just have to. If you don't, then you can play music. You can play the togetherness. <laughs> we're not going to take the rest of the band instruments. We're just going to take the guitar. And, funny enough, a little, little guitar check there for you. There's so many. That's a black hole. So we were on vacation recently, and yes. on one of the rainy days, um, like I don't know what you guys were doing. I think y'all were like watching a show or something, um, because you didn't like the movie I was watching, which was Intergalactic. Um, Christopher know. Nolan and uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey. There's so many elements to that movie in this video. It's not even funny. And I know you guys haven't seen it yet um, yeah. because Christopher Nolan movies are a bit complicated, yeah. can be. Um, but, like, again, there's so many different aspects of that movie that seem, I don't know if it's a one to one comparison, but. Like, I don't know if they got inspiration, maybe, um, from the movie, but I think it's really well done in this case. Um, and thus far, I think you guys are kind of kind of spot on about what's what's happening. They're trying to escape the elephant virus. Yep. <laughs> can't trust the elephants. They've been plotting revenge. They are going to come with their own spaceship. I think they're trying the to elephant haunt 3,000. I just think it's also interesting that it's just the four of them. Where's everybody else? Why is their face not behind? It's probably because of the kind of art that they're using. Probably doesn't have much to do with it. If they land and there's a Starbucks, Which is where? Paris. Paris. Which is in what country? France. And what did I say at the beginning? Where is this band from? France. France. So it all uh, comes together, right? Uh, uh, Little elements uh, like that, you know, kind of make for an even more interesting video, in my opinion. It either went. fell from, it, it the Eiffel Tower just got gross to your legs. It's like, I hate this. I'm leaving. No, do you, do you, see, what's, do you see what happened here? What happened? They went through a wormhole, mm -hmm. and then they, cr they like, went on another, like, planet. Like, like yeah, like, and then, like, they, like, like, ah, over an Eiffel Tower. All right, so is it possible that there is another Earth-like planet with the Eiffel Tower on it? No. Okay, so what very, does that mean? Very There's people uh, there. <clears throat> or not, things there. Not too but, high, but a pretty uh, high chance. Of what? Because Elephants live there. Of Earth. Of there being an Eiffel Tower. Well, there is actually... No. Tiny chance. Even knowing... Small scientists believe there are like a schmibillion Earth-like planets in the up. galaxy. 
So here's my interpretation of what's going on. And, you know, we're about 15 seconds away from being you know, done with the video. So we'll see what actually happens in the end. But here's my theory. <clears throat> they went through the wormhole and they came out the other side far into the future, but they're still back on Earth. So all that stuff that was bad that they were talking about in the beginning, like the virus taking over and, and all that kind of stuff, it did, and it, it's it been so long since all that happened and all the people died out that the Earth basically took over. And it's been so long that now plants and everything are growing up the Eiffel Tower and making it fall over, and that's why you don't see any cities and all that kind of stuff. What do you think? The falling Tower of France. Yes. Very similar to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, uh, which is in Italy. But uh, anywho, yeah, let's see where this goes. We got 15 seconds left. One, two, three, four. Well, there you go. That was it. So that's wow. what happened. So I'm going to go on hey, the back assumption. Up. What are you doing? Back up. Like it was like. I don't understand. You're not a child that can pay attention to stuff longer than four seconds. Uh, okay, don't know where that went, but all right. So, Gojira, another world. Okay, so we just got through watching Gojira's Another World um, off the Fortitude album, which came out uh, April of 21. Um, so it's their latest album. Um, I don't know. I thought that the song was good. It's very much the way Gojira like writes music. So the <clears throat> so the cadence, the card, uh, the rhythm was very very similar from song to song to song. I know you guys probably haven't heard too much Gojira, um, at least lately. Uh, I know you've heard it before because Daddy has a tendency to play things in the car that he probably shouldn't. Um, but what did you think about the the video? What did you like about it? Let's go from there instead of just being a blanket, you know, statement. Attention to detail, but not the humor. So your criticism is on the artwork. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. and did you like you know what what about the artwork did you like? Let's go I with like that. The background. The background. The background. Was the background. Okay. There's that. What else? How about you, little man? Daddy pretty much liked everything. Pretty much liked everything. Um, Mostly that really cool looking black hole, but mm -hmm. I don't really understand why it was there. What do you, Maybe it was a... Like ultra. around it? Yeah. Okay, so in that case, it would have to be an ultra massive black hole, which it probably was, um, at least for the sake of effect. Um, you also, well, how to explain this? I know you know a lot about black holes, and the only way that you can see a black hole, or at least the way that they say it, minus the recent photos that the James Webb Space Telescope just took. Um, you know, you see the light that gets pulled into it, and then that makes the halo effect. And that line across the center is supposedly the event horizon. So that's like a place where the light is actually coming in and all this kind of stuff. Anywho, this is not a science channel. <laughs> but it did look cool. And it, again, reminded me of how uh, the look and feel of what they did uh, for the movie Intergalactic. Um but overall, I thought that the video was really cool. I'm kind of with you, Emma. Like the, I like the art. I thought it could be. I don't know. I prefer a little bit more polished artwork. Um, it just means that it looks a little more um, realistic. Like there were some elements that, like the the black eyes with the line going across to show that that's like. That's a very, a cool that's very face. anime, very manga, very, you know, a bit cool guy face. something like that. Yes. 
Um, but I thought overall the the artwork wasn't wasn't bad. Um, mm-hmm. But you know, I, I kind of preferred a little more a little more detail um, in different things. And, you know, it is what it is, but still a great video. Again, the song um, I really liked because I'm a fan of Gojira and, you know, I don't mind uh, a bit of repetition in, in, again, the rhythm and some of the uh, guitar work and obviously the vocal presentation. Um, But overall, I thought it was a pretty good video. The message overall, and this is a fun fact for you guys, um, the band is very much... Um, into the environment and what people are doing to the environment. So if you ever get into uh, a want to get into bands that are really focused on environmentalism, then this is one to do it because you saw that they, you know, talked about how we're killing the rainforests and there's only one elephant left. And the I think the premise of the video was like, hey, we're doing all this damage to the earth that we need to stop. And the only way to do that is to leave. And so they travel to another world, but they go through the black hole and end up back where they started. But many, 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 probably hundreds of years later, um, which is Um, an interesting concept. I bet if you, if they listen to the song in like a car or just it was on the radio or something, I would have no idea what this was about. I could only hear, I would Just, not guess yeah. that it was about another world and Just, these people. Well, I think if you if you didn't have the visual aspect of it to like try to, uh, I don't want to say distract, but if you didn't have that extra element that you had to pay attention to, that it would be a little bit easier to, to hear the lyrics. Um, and plus, I mean, if you're not used to hearing that kind of, vocalization like the way that he sings then it might be more difficult to kind of pick up on the words that he's saying like i was watching it and listening to it and i could hear definitely hear when he was talking about when he uses the phrase another world which was in the chorus but again i can if it's the first time you've listened to it or gajira in general like i can see why it would be difficult but i think that if you were to listen to it in a car and not have that distraction of the visual that it'd be a little bit easier to, yeah, exactly. Mm. (laughs) It'd be a little bit easier to, uh, to pick up some of the lyrics, but um, the lyrics are in there and they reference exactly what the story is talking about um, in a, in a greater or lesser degree. Uh, But yeah. So overall, what'd you think? If you were to score this video, Mm. music and, and art and presentation and everything, from one to ten, ten being the best, one being the worst. First number that comes to your head, How? go. Hmm? How? No. How about you? First eight number. Her- seven? Okay. Eight, eight hermits out of uh, 70, no, 10 elbows. We'll figure out that math <laughs> later. I'm going to give it a solid six. Solid I'm going to give it a six. six. Um, yeah, I'm thinking six. Yeah, I don't know why the. I just like the colors. Yeah, there were, there was a lot of different hues, um, but yeah. So there you have it, Rock Dad's Kids <laughs> review of Gojira, uh, Another World. Um, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. What else would so, they watch it on? Huh? What else would they watch it on? The potato. Oh. Yes, they could potentially watch it on the Potato, a new streaming that would platform. Work. That would work you if later. you took a, like a phone, shoved it inside of a potato. <laughs> and then Thanks for watching. Why? <laughs>